Hi, this is Steve Close posting another Tony Heller video. If you like it, I'm sure he would appreciate you visiting his site on YouTube and liking and subscribing some of his videos. Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. Google used to have a motto that they do the right thing. Let's see if they actually do that. If you do a Google search for YouTube Tony Heller, this is what comes up. What shows up in the Google search is not my videos, instead they show three videos from some guy named Mellon Baker. Mellon says he is debunking my videos. Mellon Baker has less than 3,000 subscribers and his videos typically get around 1,000 views. By contrast, I have more than 60,000 subscribers and my videos get more than 1 million views per month. I gain more new subscribers every two weeks than Mellon Baker has total subscribers. So why do his videos come up instead of mine in a Google search for my name? There's clearly something nefarious going on here. YouTube also puts this propaganda banner at the bottom of many of my videos. It will be interesting to see if they put it on this video too. Now let's look at some of the dirty tricks which Twitter does. I have more than 45,000 Twitter followers, but I'm not verified. I don't have a blue check mark next to my name. By contrast, Serena Williams' baby Olympia is verified. She has a blue check mark. I'm going to take a wild guess that I probably generate more content than Serena Williams Baby. Twitter also censors any images I post for the vast majority of Twitter viewers. Instead of showing my image, they say, the following media includes potentially sensitive content. And here is the sensitive content they were blocking. It's a weather map. The world's leading climate alarmists have me and all of my followers blocked on Twitter. The reason they do this is because when I debunk some of their climate junk science, they don't want any accurate information to show up on their Twitter timeline. By blocking all of my followers, they make sure that only their brainwashed climate sheep get to post on their timeline. And it's not just their timeline which they block. A few months ago, a school news service said they were interested in my ideas. And then Michael Mann jumped in and bullied them into not talking to me. Michael Mann said, this is highly inappropriate. You're engaging with a science-denying crank. The last thing which Michael Mann and Catherine Hayhoe want people to see is somebody telling the truth about climate. I have a standing offer to debate both of them, but Catherine Hayhoe says I'm just too sweet to debate. A weatherman in Maine named Keith Carson did agree to debate me once. Less than four hours later, he backed out of the debate and said it was because I was a racist. Climate alarmists are afraid to debate me, so instead they slander and libel me. Then Joe Pistardi weighed in and told Keith that he probably did the right thing because he most likely would have lost the debate. If climate alarmists were confident in their position, they would be eager to debate me instead of censoring me and libeling me. If they want to eliminate my influence, it would be simple enough for them to debate me in public and show the world that I'm wrong. But they won't do that because they know they would lose the debate. These people are not doing the right thing. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time. Thank you for Hello, watching. This is Tony Heller from realclimatescience.com, setting the record straight about climate. I'm over 60 years old, and the press has been a terrible.